Hey everyone, welcome back to John's Watch. Today I'm taking a look at an upcoming game called Dwaros. This game is going to be released on Steam on February 28th, 2020, and is developed and published by Lithic Entertainment. So this is a peaceful third-person adventure and town-building game. Gather, build, puzzle, explore, and quest in a beautifully handcrafted world. It looks like it's got everything. Like you... Third-person adventure and town-building, it sounds awesome. So this is the first time I started it up, hopefully there isn't too much of a tutorial and we can actually get into it. Ah, create our town. Oh, can we not randomize? Maybe we'll just, we'll just take this. Even though I cannot pronounce that. New Old Dale. I'm gonna assume it's that. Um, yeah, Dwilbin. Gloia. Horber, very good, good strong dwarf names. Excellent. I had full biography. That's excellent. Holy crap. We don't we don't need to learn all their histories. Wow, there's even a like a story in this already. And like a really beautifully animated book. So neat. Okay, so we're moving in with the, the neighbor, which is those like weird cat things that you just saw for a moment. <laughs> we're wood elves, we're not dwarves. Even though all of our people were had dwarf names. And it's called Dwaros. Dwaros. <laughs> Such a great name. <laughs> Wow, look at that. Is that. Have we built that already? I don't even have to build anything. Fantastic. That's probably like the town square or something, so we're gonna have to like build around it, I'd assume. Those are dwarves. Those are old wood elves. Okay, maybe one of them's a wood elf? I don't know. They, look, they all look pretty dwarfy. Okay, so we've claimed Duskenvale Keep. Oh, look, do you see that bear? Excellent. Okay, so we're just helping the, the wood elves, I guess. Wow, this sounds like a huge undertaking. <laughs> It's still more story. The story's kind of cool, but I just don't- I don't want the whole video to be a story. <laughs> okay, we're in, oh my god. How cool is this? Okay, so there is a tutorial, but... It looks like it'll be, like, pretty interactive for a tutorial. Oh. yeah. I don't even know if there's combat. If we, like, chop down this tree? I don't think we want to. Let's, let's go. Oh, he's a little bit terrifying. We don't have any resources, or houses, or anything. <laughs> Hello. Okay, so we've got these talk rocks. Oh, that's me. Um, which are just ways for everybody to talk to each other. So I gotta go give them to my team. Are you Gloia? Yes, have a talk rock. Oh, now I'm Gloia. Okay, so Gloia does the repairing. I guess... The, the other dwarf we were on, he gathers, because he has had a pickaxe and an axe, okay. Oh, go up there and fix that broken beacon. Excellent. Climb the dusk and keep scaffolding and rebuild the beacon. Okay, I probably should have paid a little bit more attention to where that scaffolding started. <laughs> but I'll see if I can find it. See if you can find a sc I found it! Scaffolding! That's an interesting art style, isn't it? All the... Oh, the people look a little bit odd. Which, I don't I don't know if you can actually say, because they are dwarves. Um, or elves. Dwarves and or elves. Welves. Dwelves. Oh, we're doing it. You know we're gonna just leap off at the end. Fool. Whee! We're living dangerously here. Oh no! It was a goof. It was a, a death goof. See you back at the up at the top. Yikes! Okay, we've we've made it. We're at the top. Repair. Yeah. Oh, we're doing it. Wow! Look, we turned it into. Oh, that's a real beacon, basically. We did it. We made a lighthouse, pretty much. Whoa! <laughs> Not bad. Oh, we can go to the drafting table and um, build like some new some new structures. Maybe we can get a house. We don't have any materials for a house. Ike, form an Ike. Form an Ike. There he is, my boy. Okay, we need a lot of stuff. Two hundred forty wood, twenty stone, and one hundred seventy gold. How do I? Oh, there we go. Okay, so the, these are the trees. We need to chop. A little bit closer there, lad. There we go. 
I'm gonna assume this is worth a fair bit. 50, okay, that's good. Um, somebody's gonna have to replant these. What do I need, like 270? Jeez. Okay, they do disappear, that's good. Oh, a little bit closer. No, come on, there we go. There we go, lad. Oh, there's more over there. Let's just do a little bit of mining while we're over here. Bam. How much gold did we need? I don't remember. There's quite a bit there. Nice. The leaves coming down. Oh, I just noticed his kilt. Look at him go. Look at that form. Just rocking on his, his heels. Oh, we did it. Oh, we've got way too much stuff. <laughs> I just need 20 stone now. Okay. Fine. We've got extra. Oh, look, we're almost done. We did it. Okay, use drafting table and build a tent. Okay, one tent. Holy crap. Okay, so we've got this whole plot here to build with right now. Um, I don't know where we should put it. Probably like around the side, right? There. Plot to grow food. Oh. What was that? That was housing, probably? Okay, a plot. Um... Maybe just in front? Does that make sense? Maybe just behind it. And we can do like another tent there. There we go. Okay, we gotta go find the last guy and give him his talk rock. And then we can go invite people in. I don't know where they're camping. They're out there somewhere, I think. I'm not sure what the, the third guy is gonna be able to do. Because this guy harvests, the other one builds. What's left? Maybe combat, I guess? Uh, where is he? Is that him? The whole beer or something? Yes! Poor beer. I'm a hobbit! Okay, so I can run, I guess? Oh, look at me! Got classic hobbit stuff. Am I a hobbit? I'm pretty flippin' hobbity. I'm definitely a hobbit. Oh, okay, so I... I'm a scout, I guess? I run fast and I go find treasure? Maybe? Use a treasure to find treasure. Okay, one. Was it when it's red? Aha. This way. Oh, that's cool. Oh, we've lost it. Um. Oh. Oh, it's outside. Okay. Hop it away. <laughs> Off we go. Vroom. It's this, we found gold! Oh no, it's still a ways to go. Oh, we've lost it. Huh? Oh, we gotta look for the intense- oh no, we've lost it. So it's somewhere in here. Oh. We're almost there. Okay, that's kind of a bit blue. Oh. Now oh, we've lost it again. Probably like right here, right? Yes! Presumably. <gasps> what have we found? A treasure chest out of nowhere! <laughs> My god. What's in here? Grass! Oh, I mean jackpot! Oh, just a bunch of gold. Hooray! We did it. Oh, settled in. Oh, what's happening now? Oh god! Okay, how do we change? Do we just like middle click? Scroll? Scroll! Holy crap! <laughs> so we just have like three people to control. Find campers in the Duskin Vale. I want to do that. Ah. Oh. Oh shit! I just clicked something. Oh, that brings everybody here, I guess. Uh, transport it here. Select location of transport. We haven't, we haven't explored yet. Huh. Uh, do nothing. Okay, I'm gonna go explore and- oh, we use this well? No. Um, it basically said, like, you can- there's a- where was it? There's a big tunnel you can go explore, but the mayor was like, you can go do that now, you can gather resources, you can build houses, you can go find people, do literally anything you want. <laughs> Which is so cool. So you do probably have to be careful, like, who you go out with. Because, like, I can find treasure out here. Oh, I've almost found treasure. But I can't gather materials or anything. 
I'm just out here looking for people. And also treasure, I suppose. We found it! <laughs> that was very easy. Yeah, I just want to find some people to move in, because we've got them... We've got one whole tent. Yay! Oh, holy shit, that was a... Oh my god, that was a lot of stuff. And a letter. And a, a letter. Oh! Excellent. So where would the people be? The blacksmith. Um... Right, maybe? Uh, what's this? Huh? Cool! Oh, so I don't need to have the... The, the gatherer. Well, that's handy. Oh, hello. Um, uh, is there people over here? Real. Oh, whoops. Real. Or is that going back to town? Probably that. Oh, hello. Oh, goodbye. Oh, I see tents. Huh. I mean, I'd like to bring him back, but I don't think he's going to do um much in the way of farming right now. Ah, hello. Well, wallpaper feral fiend has to come. <laughs> hello, wallpaper. Oh, you can all come. You all have to live in one tent, though. Oh. Three! You flippin' ding- Oh, but I can just leave him here. Switch to her. Ah, and go build them two more tents. Oh, I can't sprint with this one. Hello. Tent me. Tents. Yes. What do they cost? Oh, I can easily build three of these. No problem. Bam. Bam. How's that? Okay. Now. Hello. I've just heard words that there's enough room for you three. Hooray! Ah, oh, they've gone. Now let's go back to him, and he can go check on them. Oh, they're here! Wallpaper! Okay, so if we look at the overview, we're a one-star town right now. Wow, there's a lot of stuff to do, holy crap! Oh, they need restrooms, of course they do. Alright, uh, let's build that. Oh, we can't quite do a market. That seems quite easy to do, it needs two workers though. Ah, public bathhouse? No, they need a restroom. There we go, an outhouse. Is that cheap? 100 wood, yikes. Okay, we need to need to do some more harvesting. This guy. Okay, well there you go, that was a quick look at the beginning of Dwaros. This is a very unique game. Um, combines a whole bunch of different things. It's like um, Stone Hearth, I guess, but it's not like totally management. You can also go out and do your own thing and explore. I don't know if there's combat in this. It does say it's peaceful, so I'd assume no. But it's really cool, you become like the heroes and you get to really help build your nice little town. Yeah, this is this is really neat. Um, this is also, like, I'm playing it just before it comes out, so it's very polished for being not even out yet. Very impressed. That was Dwaros. Thank you guys very much for watching. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!